helps when you hit record. Why do I keep doing finger guns? I don't know. Okay. Greetings and salutations. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Nikki. This is Midlife Adulting. Let's get started. I have this wonderfully scripted video about is it too late to start over? And then I was reading the bullet points and it was coming out crappy. So we are going to try it again. Is it too late to start over? What gave you that idea? What gave you the idea that it might be too late? Oh, right. It's seeing people half your age succeed at the thing you think you want to do and have already established themselves. It's seeing the 20 year olds coming out of college early and landing their dream jobs and earning six figures of income when you're not. It's anything that you can imagine that makes you feel like somebody has already done it at a younger age and it's too late for you to try because someone else is already doing it. Well, I'm here to tell you that's hoo-ha. That is bull poop. Age is just a number and you are only as old as you feel. And I know that sounds trite, but it's true. There are days when I feel 16, when I feel 12 and I'm laughing at poop jokes. And there are days when my body feels ancient and it aches and I just want to lay on the sofa. Okay. So do you feel like you're young enough to start over? Great. Do you not feel like you're young enough to start over? You are, if you want. You were likely to live to nearly 80, which is the average lifespan of adults in the US, or longer if you start taking care of yourself right now. If you are like me and on a health journey, good for you, keep it up, you can do it. Along with, okay, you're seeing all these younger people, it doesn't have to take you decades to forge a new path. You can start like I am at 45 with a new hobby, which is YouTube, and kill it in a year or five years. It doesn't have, or three years or two and a half, or maybe it does take you 10, but if you're really enjoying yourself, why are you concerned with how long it's taking you, right? One of the things you want to think about is why you want a French, a fresh start, not a French start. That would be silly. Although maybe you do want a French start. Are you, do you want to move to France? Maybe you have a change of employment or like me, you have a change in marital status. Maybe you have experienced the loss of a loved one. In which case, I'm so very sorry for your loss. Perhaps you want to fulfill a dream or just make extra money. And maybe you have your own personal private reasons that you're not ready to share. They're all valid. You don't need me to validate your choices in life. You really don't. I mean, I will. I mean, unless you've decided to become a murderer and then I won't. But I'm going to validate your choices to further improve yourself, your life, your surroundings, your experience, your lived experience because we want you to have the best lived experience you possibly can. So once you've figured out why you want a French start, a French start, once you've figured out why you want a fresh start, or maybe you know, once you know you want a fresh start, maybe you know why, maybe you don't know why and you just want it. Okay, that's valid. Do you know what you want? It's okay if you don't. Maybe, like I mentioned, you want to move overseas. Maybe uh, you would like to start a new career. Maybe you need to go back to school. If you don't know what you want though, have fun, make friends, and learn new hobbies. It's also okay to know exactly what you want and go for it. Of course, like, duh. You are never too old to start over. And here are some examples. Stan Lee caught his first break at nearly 40 with the Fantastic Four. Julia Child published her first cookbook at 50. Vera Wang entered the fashion industry at 40. And Toni Morrison exploded in the public eye at 62 when she won the Nobel Prize for Literature. And then there's my favorite example, my dad. Okay, he started out his career out of college as a Latin teacher. And then he spent 17 years in the appliance industry. And then at my age, he decided he was going to go back and become a minister. He went to seminary, got a degree in theology. And now 30 years later, after that, he's going back for another master's degree. Okay, you can do it. So are you prepared to start your life over? This is a big one. Do you have enough money for what you want to do? Because you don't want to jump into things blind in this respect. You don't want to abruptly quit your job and not have any savings and not have another source of income to carry you over while you pursue your new dream. You, th this is one of those things that sounds wonderful to, you know, quit your job with $200 in your bank account and move to New York and make it as whatever, or move to Montana or move to France or move to wherever with $200 in your pocket. Doesn't that sound romantic? It's not. <laughs> 
it's not going to be romantic it's going to be painful it's going to be shocking yes people do that please don't be that person prepare yourself a little bit make sure you have money set aside whether you decide that you are safe with six months of expenses or you decide you are safe with three years of expenses um be prepared monetarily before you just ditch what you have to go for something new please do you have enough time for what you want to do now if you're like me you're not quitting your day job for your side hustle which i am making youtube my side hustle i might as well just say that this is really where i want to earn some extra income and I know I'm a long way off from that, but I can work as hard as I can, as hard as I want to, in my evenings and on my days off, like today on Indigenous People's Day, where I can build things up while I still have the safety and security and insurance, let's, let's be fair, this is the most important part of my day job, right? Side hustles can be the name of your game. Now, do I see 20 year olds out there, 26 year olds, with successful YouTube channels that are supporting their lives? Yes. Does that make me feel old, like an old fart trying to do this? I mean, I'd be lying if it if I said no. Am I somewhat jealous of their success early on? Yes. Do I wish I had kept up with the YouTube channel I started during COVID? Absolutely. But the point of the video is, it's not too late for me to make this a success. If I want it, if I work towards it, I'm gonna have it. And do you have whatever support you need? And this is really important. Are there people in your lives that support your decision? And if your family isn't supporting you or your current friends aren't supporting you, go out and find a group of people who are like-minded that will support you. For me, that means doing this myself without family input, without telling my friends to subscribe to my channel. Not that they wouldn't support me, but because I need my community to be other YouTubers right now. And trying very hard not to develop parasocial relationships with people, but actual relationships with people where we are doing the same thing. We're working towards the same goal, which is additional financial independence through videos and making them my support. Bottom line is just do it. Just get her done. Whatever slogan you want to pick, whether you're able to plunge into your new start or you need to creep in that direction, just do it. Just start. Just start. There is no prize for finishing first. Even though it feels like there is, I guess the prize for finishing first is that you have already what I am looking to achieve, but I am capable of getting exactly what the people who started earlier have. We are in a world of abundance, even though we are also in a world of scarcity. There is money to be had in what I'm pursuing. There is enjoyment to be had in what I'm pursuing. I will be able to get the things that the person who has them now also has. There's not one YouTuber position. I'm not aiming to be the president. There is just one of those. There is no prize for finishing first. Do what you can, when you can, and good luck. Good luck to you. Like, you can do this. I believe in you. If no one else believes in you, I will believe in you. Drop in the comments what your goal is, whether what you want to start over with, and I will be your support. If you've got a YouTube channel, mention that in your comments so that I can go check you out and let's go from there because we all need the support. I hope you are having a great day. I hope if you're not having a great day, I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope tomorrow's better. Goodbye. Well, it always be worse. And oh my goodness, my foot is numb. Ah. <sighs>